Traditionally, chemotherapy has been used because that's, that's what we used to have for any kind of lymphoma. But we uh, very quickly understood that that was not enough for T-cell lymphomas. And just like other cancers, as we learn more about the targets that are um, sort of faulty or, or uh, abnormal in these patients in their, in their tumors, or we are starting to figure out treatments that can be targeted against that. So one of the very important uh, trials that's being presented, it will actually be presented tomorrow evening, um, is uh, what's called the Echelon 2 trial. It is a large international trial that was done uh, to better understand or, or, or to better understand the role of a targeted treatment called Bentuximab Vidotin that targets CD30. Uh, it is being done in CD30 expressing lymphomas and they are comparing, it's a randomized trial where uh, the patients will re either receive the standard chemotherapy CHOP and the other, the treatment arm is, uh, or the experimental arm is where they receive CHOP with Brintuximab Vidotin, except with the, uh, with the omission of O or Vincristine because uh, the toxicity profile wouldn't, wouldn't have allowed that. And again, this is um, the next step from a previously uh, known uh, or previously published phase one study of uh, CHP plus Brintuximab Vidotin. So this data will be presented tomorrow and so far it looks positive and may impact the outcomes of uh, treatment of this disease and maybe practice changing for CD30 positive T-cell lymphomas. Uh, in fact, the data is probably so compelling, uh, which we haven't seen yet, uh, that the FDA has approved Brintuximab Vidotin for upfront treatment of CD30 expressing uh, lymphomas in combination with uh, the CHP chemotherapy. So that's already sort of practice changing and gives you an idea how impactful this abstract is going to be tomorrow. In addition, there is a lot of other combinations that are being presented, uh, maybe not as impactful, but certainly for patients who don't express CD30 po positivity in their tumors, we still need something that's similar, right? So we're, we're waiting to see what those results show. One, one example is um, alemtuzumab or CAMPATH, which targets CD52 in combination with CHOP. There's another trial being presented of uh, lenalidomide or Revlimid uh, in combination with a chemotherapy called CHOEP, C-H-O-E-P. So these are all important uh, um, uh, abstracts and, and uh, papers that will be presented at this meeting. Uh, there's a lot of data regarding um, targeted therapies uh, for patients with relapse disease, uh, particularly the PI3 kinase uh, targeting agents. There's several papers on that and that seems to be a promising treatment and um, as well as other um, uh, sort of novel agents that have been um, that are being tried in this in this uh, uh, lymphoma with, in an attempt to really move the field forward and change the outcomes of these patients. There's also a form of T-cell lymphoma called cutaneous T-cell lymphoma which presents as skin rashes and is kind of treated with the, both with the help of both dermatologists and hematologists and there's a lot of new data for patients with cutaneous T-cell lymphomas as well another incurable disease so, um, so, so it's an exciting meeting for us.